Hello, Norwood families. We are going to be discussing today's Norwood News Newsletter Edition for Thursday, December 2nd, 2021. All right, so let's get started, as always, with our important and upcoming dates. Friday, December 3rd is Picture Day. Now, if you're watching this video later and it's already happened and your child missed that day, we're going to talk about the Makeup Picture Day, which is Thursday, December 16th. We'll get to that in a moment. And Thursday, December 23rd, all schools now dismiss three hours early. There is no afternoon pre-K session. So our school, Norwood Elementary, dismisses at 12.20 p.m. That is the last day prior to the winter break starting. Okay, so let's refer to some news better, newsletter callbacks, some previous newsletters that are still going to be important. As we are entering our cold and winter season where students are apt to getting sick, where you're going to want to review on the, bullet, the newsletter for October 8th, 2021. That's the one that was talking about the absentee note policy, and it has a template that you can print out if you want to use instead of having to handwrite yourself a note uh, for the teacher to excuse absences. The also, there's going to be still for this area in the Dalton Talk area, the North, uh, the North Point Library is going to be having the CCBC winter ESOL classes for families. So that's going to be upcoming. You can check that on uh, the, the newsletter for November 4th. There was some information on that. And also, if you want to remind yourself on how to add or change the emergency contacts and who can pick up your children, you want to do that manually, there's a way to do that. And this explains how to do that from the newsletter on October 21st, 2021. And we've also now added the Americanism essay contest about helping veterans. If your child is within grades three through eight, actually, three through eight, then you can check out the newsletter from November 4th. Okay, so reviewing your child's progress report or report cards. They're basically the same kind of thing. They talk about your child's progress. One, report cards are for older students that have letter grades. Progress reports are for the younger children. And you may only get them, depending on your grade, only twice a year instead of four times a year. But nonetheless, they were sent home on November 22nd, Monday, with your children in their yellow folders inside of a yellow envelope that looks just like this. It probably has a white sticker on it that has your child's name and what classroom they're in. And, but nonetheless, what they want you to do is they want you to actually take out the report card. They want you to sign here the corresponding time of the year, which term it was. So marking period one, quarter one is the same as term one, November. You sign it. And then if you want a conference about it, you can check that. We just had parent-teacher conferences, so you don't necessarily need to check that. But if you wanted another separate meeting to just specifically discuss the report card, you could ask that at any point. And then you just turn it back to the teacher and you get put it back in the yellow folder that you got it from and then it goes right back to the teacher. Or you can hand deliver it to one of our staff in the morning if you're dropping off your child. They just want this envelope back signed by you during that corresponding time line so that they know that you reviewed it and received it because sometimes they have a habit of disappearing if you know what I mean so here's where you can also check for school closures and early dismissals there have been a lot of rumors and confusing and confusion and misinformation over half days specifically I've been getting asked almost every single day by a number of parents is today a half day is tomorrow a half day When's it, when is a half day? And there should be no confusion. Just to be clear, in December of 2021, the only half day is the last day before winter break, which is December 23rd. That is a Thursday. That is the only half day of the entire month of December before your students are away and not coming back until after the new year. So if you hear from anyone else about another half day, it is wrong. It is incorrect. Now, how can you check that? If you want to have the power to check that and to not have to call every single time to check these rumors, you can go to the BCPS calendar. So just watch this very short video that explains to you like, where you can access the BCPS academic calendar for the current school year and also some little special tidbits about the calendar and how to understand it, what it means for also early dismissals, and also how you can check the website to know about emergency closures like for snow or other type of emergency situations. It's very useful, so I would highly recommend that you spend a few minutes just watching it to make sure you've got it. You can bookmark it, and now you're going to be in the know. Now, as we discussed before, the Makeup Picture Day is going to be for students who are absent on December 3rd. So if your student comes to Picture Day on December 3rd, you can completely ignore this segment. But for those who are absent and your child gets sick or something happens, an emergency, then December 16th will be reserved for your child. They can take their pictures then, and you'll have to do it online. 
Um, there's a way to do it online. You can have a credit card used to pay. Um, I don't think you can necessarily use the same envelopes from December 3rd. We have a picture here of one of the envelopes from December 3rd, but it'll, it'll to give you an idea of what the packages are, they'll still be the same, and it'll have the code right here for the event day for the photo ID. Uh, if you need any other information, though, feel free to give the school a call, and we'll help you out. The Christmas bingo event is still going on. We talked about this last time. That's going to be happening on Saturday, December 4th at Battle Grove Elementary School from 7 to 9 p.m. They've been offering $15 tickets in advance, and if you have not been able to secure those, you can go pay $20 at the door. Um, it's gonna, they're going to have additional games and things to do beyond bingo, so you might want to bring some extra cash if you want to play some of those other games. But nonetheless, it should be a really fantastic time. We have some additional phone numbers here that you can call from some staff that are going to be from that event if you want to try to still receive advanced tickets. But at this point, it may be too late. Or you may be watching this once this event has already passed. Here are the math unit overviews for families. Remember, we're always giving a math you know, resource for families for their upcoming unit at the beginning of the month. And then on the third Thursday, the second time of the month that we do this newsletter, you're going to get the ELA for English Language Arts for reading and writing. So here are the math ones for every grade in English and Spanish. So for the corresponding grades minus pre-K, because they have a different curriculum, click on that and you can see a resource that will help tie in and give some some overview of what to expect in the upcoming unit and it's something you can go through together and you can answer their questions you can help prepare them or you can just read it with them and you can practice reading but it's a useful resource to help go over with your child our lost and found is growing out of control we have so many very good value and somewhat expensive winter jackets and fall jackets that have been accumulating here are just some of them. Here are pictures. We have pictures of the vast collection of them. You can look at these pictures, and if you recognize a jacket that is one of your children's, please let us know. We're happy to give it to you. Otherwise, they're going to all get donated at some point. So we do want you to be able to collect your jackets. If your child has been missing an article of clothing and you don't know where it happened, the first and easiest assumption is the school, right? That's where they're going to be running around and playing and or maybe just forgot it in their locker or something. Um, left it somewhere in the bathroom. So we have also a blanket, some hats, and there's a lunchbox also that we have that's not pictured. So if your child has missing a teal colored pink outline lunchbox, that's also something that you may want to consider. Please just let us know. There are also some adult items that have been left behind, some keychains and even some keys. So if you've ever lost anything and you don't know where and your child goes to this school, you may want to call and ask because we might have that, but we keep that at the front office. Also, message from the nurse about change of clothing and donations is the same as last time. We talked about that we have a high need for some elastic waist pants, the things that don't need belts, for boys and girls of all sizes, but especially between 4 and 10. And you want to, you're, feel free to do, donate any new and unused underwear. It can also be appreciated. Um, and change of clothing should always be kept. You should always have one or two changes of clothing, complete changes of clothing for your child in their locker in case of any emergency. Even if it's not a bathroom emergency, it could be that they get sick you know, all over themselves. It could be that they just get dirty from recess. It's not a bad idea, regardless of the age, to have that. Thank you for your time. We hope you have a fantastic rest of the week. And as always, keep on learning, Norwood Superstars. Thank you.